There we go. So like I say, easy to read, not hard to use. So yeah, simple as possible. That's what I like. Something that's easy to use. So what I can check is, I can obviously check my pH. I can check my salt readings. First impressions, I would definitely go for it. But for pH, even your temperature really, it's good for your temperature. Salt readings, that's come out brilliant. So if, would I buy it? Yes, I probably would, yeah. So first impressions look good. So you've got your little monitor probe there. So that's, so this is all, this is your probe with all your gubbins in, with all your uh, pH probes and stuff, you can see down there. Put your power probe in. So I've got the, um, in the box it comes with an adapter to be able to give it your more length to put it somewhere. Cause obviously this little bit here, it looks like it goes for an aquarium. So there's an adapter now to be able to get it for like us guys, putting it in ponds and stuff, maybe in filters or bays or whatever, gives you that extra reach to put it where you want. So my plan with this one is I'm gonna put it on the inside of the easy pod for now and uh, check how it goes. So it literally is just adapters that just screw in. It is quite simple. So yeah, that I'm just gonna drop that in now into the easy pod. It's got your little suction cups on the back. There is um, inside of the little box that it comes with, there's magnets as well. But uh, I'm just gonna go with the suction cup for now. So place that obviously fully submerged in the water. Then I'm just gonna power it on. Right. I'll give you a quick show of this in here now. Yep, so as we can see in there, suctioned on the side, it literally just sits under the water and then the cable comes out. I don't think this is waterproofed, so you need to make sure that that is like that. So, quite simple really. You've got the four circles there, their parameters, and then also in the middle and the side, so you've got your temperature and your pH. So yeah, so what, what's good with this I've found is it's really easy to use. So you've literally got your okay button in the middle that takes you up and down, and then you can see like the tick in the back, that's literally simple, so it takes you into your setting. So this is how you calibrate it, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So what I found useful is uh, if you go down to temp, oh so click into there. If you've got an external like, thermometer, so at the moment it's saying it's 21.9. If you know you've got, say you've got two backup sensors that tell you what the temperature is and it's saying it's say 20, you can literally go into it and drop it down to what you know it is. So you can take it up and down. All these look, see where it says adjust. You can adjust your salt, your TDS, your EC. So like, it's quite simple to use. So what I can check is, I can obviously check my pH. I can check my salt readings. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the Hanameter testers to check against these to see if these match. But that is literally as simple as it is. To be fair, I think these are up for 110 pound. So considering the Blue Lab Guardian is, um, I think they're 250 quid. First impressions, I would definitely go for it. Now, obviously what I'm gonna do is, I've got me uh, pH tester. I'm gonna check the pH against what it's got here. At the moment it's saying I've got a pH of 8.7. 8.1 sorry, 8.17, so that goes down to quite a good. So what do we say, we've got 8.16. So let's see, I'll give it a few seconds. It's going, it's around the eight point something mark. I have turned everything off just for the sound quality because I don't want to pump or anything. So we are slowly going down on 8.17 at the moment. And that was saying 8.16. Yeah, I'm saying 8. 8.02 so we are out a little bit so what i can do is if i trust this more which i probably do at the moment because i haven't used this for long i can go on this controller now and i can drop you now i told you, you can adjust the measurements i can now adjust that down to suit that so now that i know it's bang on or i could calibrate it again which we have got 0 0.27 so 0 0.27 salinity so i'll just quickly wait on this so we're at 0 0.02 out, is it? Yeah, which isn't bad considering. Yeah. So that one's not bad really. pH is out a little bit, but like I say, you can adjust it, whether you want to or not. But I think what the main factor of this product is, it's 110 pound. And I believe if you, I'll drop the uh, website in now. If you go to their website and put your email address in, they give you 10% off. But for pH, in your temperature really, it's good for your temperature. Salt readings, that's what come out. 
what would I say? Pros and cons. Pros are it works. It's close to a Hanameter checker. Um, it costs half, not more than half the price of a Blue Lab Guardian, and a Blue Lab Guardian does TDS temperature. So all in all, I would say, if would I buy it? Yes, I probably would. Yeah, nice and small as well, so you can get it and hide it out of the way. The only problem I would say with it is this unit here is not waterproof. So obviously we're around water. It's going to be in a filter house, so it's going to be somewhere. It's going to get splashed. This just says make sure it doesn't get wet. So. You know, I've already got a little bit splashes on it already, so. Yeah, so I think, you know I said to you, I put the magnets on, I tried to just stick it on here. I think they might be for there, so I can now pull that off and on. So I've stuck the ma magnets onto there, and that literally is just as simple as sticking it on. So now when I come in, I can check, so have a quick check, check what my parameters are. That seems a lot better way. Also then what happens is this creates this, so there's less chance of dripping, not like water dripping and coming down onto the onto this system. And literally that is it set up. There we go, so like I say, easy to read, not hard to use. So yeah, simple as possible. That's what I like, something that's easy to use. 